So you have a multi-level map in Foundry, and you want a quick, easy way for your players to navigate through that and uh, don't have a ton of time before, before you need to jump into the game. So this is my solution for you. So what I'm going to show you, you could achieve using some other things, but this is the mod that I'm going to be using, multi-level tokens. So I just ran this map with about five people, and what I didn't want to have to do is every time somebody wanted to go down the stairs, they'd have to tell me. Um, especially because there was an escape scene at the end and it made it run so much faster when the players could go up and down the stairs themselves. So with multi-level tokens mod activated, once uh, what you'll do is you'll come over here and I'm just going to draw a square on these, sca on these stairs. Then you should see multi-level popping up. This is going to be in and out, and I'm going to say that this is from 1 to 2. I, you can get more fancy with the naming if you'd like, but this is the way I like doing it. Uh, and then we're just going to save that. Now, down here, we are going to have its pair. Multi-level token, in and out, and this is going to be 1 to 2. Now, I could do the same thing. Now, really quick, I'll just demonstrate um, how this would look. Do another one. This one would be 2 to 3, which would go to these stairs right here, and they would be two to three. I'm not going to do all of them just for the sake of time. So this is what the characters would see when they come run over and step on the stairs. It shoots them down to the next floor. Or when they step on the stairs, it shoots them up to the upper floor. And you could do that for each of the stairs and call it good. But there's some additional functionality that I want to show off and some things that uh, that I like to do. So clicking into here in the multi-level token, um, in my next video, I'll talk about some of the additional functionality of some of these other things, so stick around for that. But in this one, the only real extra thing that I want to show off is uh, if you click Animate Movement, what that'll just do is the players will see their token flying down, which I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, here, I'll show you why. Is because if they go across stuff that you don't want them to see, they'll see everything pop up as they move down. Not a huge fan of that. I like it being more instant and snappy, um, but that's my uh, my personal preference there. Uh, but what I do want to do is uncheck that and activate via map notes. I think that this is a pretty nifty feature right here. So I'm just going to do that on both of them. And then I'm going to go over here to create map notes. All right, so what I will do is then just drop a nap a map note here that says downstairs and update map. And then I'll do another one that says upstairs. What you name these really doesn't matter. I like to put upstairs and downstairs. Here, I'll show you why. When a player then comes here and they step on the stairs, they will see this button essentially that pops up that says upstairs. And then they know that these stairs are leading up. So then when they click on it, bam, it shoots them upstairs. And then they see that these this would lead them downstairs. And when they step off of it, it disappears. It's gone. When they step onto it, bam. You don't need to do anything extra. You just put them on there, and it'll work just like that. I could repeat this for the rest of the stairs, and in five minutes, you've got a multi-level map working just fine, way smoother than having to drag people all over. In my next video, I'm going to show a little bit more of the functionality and what some of the other options on this lets you do. So if you're interested, stick around, subscribe, and uh, check out that video. See you next time.